Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Xenonauts, I'm Falleg and today we are going to be picking up a crashed UFO in Africa. Let me just see my squads. I believe nuclear student is out so I have to replace him with some other sniper for now. I don't like it all that much, I don't think I have anybody who is accurate enough. Well I have Ken Abbott so... Welcome to the team for now Ken. And the general sniper. Specialist what? Well, I, I don't know. Come on sniper, where are you? There you are. I see you are not a heavy lifter. So grab yourself a jackal armor. Put down that thing. What's better? Yeah, I think Ken Abbott is a better shooter than... Yeah, he is definitely better shooter than Irene, so I will give him the laser sniper rifle, like this, there you go. Whoa, dude. That's some heavy stuff, I see. Really? No, right, I can give you one magazine and that's it, okay, that's fine. And we have a laser shotgun pack from the... Our, from our workshop, but it is too heavy for you. And it is also a little bit too heavy for Opirian. But just a little bit, so... They are the same ammunition, aren't they? I will still have 81 TUs, but I don't really... I'm not using C4, I'm... Sorry, I'm not really using it at all. And that's why, so I will be dropping it down. Let's make sure that everybody is in position, everything is fine. Crash site 18, Charlie 1, ba ba. And we are also going to be fighting enemy fighters. There is three of them, three of us. We have, uh, we have giant advantage, so three alien alloys and uh, good morale are coming home. Foxtrot 3 is gonna go after the medium UFO. And we have three soldiers at the base. Those are the three I ordered, right? That's fun. And uh, let's begin the mission. I hope it's not gonna go uh, bad. I've almost had a casualty in the previous one, so I, I want to avoid it. We have enough soldiers that uh, even if we completely wipe right now, it's not gonna be a tragedy. But I'm going to be very sad and I'm probably going to, you know, go under a shower, let the water flow and, you know, crouch into a fetal position and cry. Okay, we start with a drone. I am tempted to just run out of the helicopter and shoot it, but I'm going to change, check the sights before that. Okay, seems like we might be... Uh huh. Another drone. Seems like we might be going against uh, largely flying and mechanical opposition again. I'm not a big fan of that. But a must is a must. One drone is down, and how about the other one? I can supposedly come at it and uh, take a snapshot, but that might not be enough to kill it. So, a 47% rocket it is. If it hits the fence, then uh, I'm gonna cry. Didn't. Okay, now I am... I feel we are getting somewhere. That place we are getting to might be called Hell, but at least we're getting there, right? And the uh, Remy 4 is not gonna be 
of use for me right now. If if we only face mechanical enemies again, then his stun button is gonna be useless. Yeah, looks like he can shove it up his ass. We have an idea where the other enemy is right now. I'm gonna go for go right for it then, but uh, I'm going to this time make sure there is nobody behind my back. Come on, where is it? I know you're in there. I could hear you shoot. Well, I'm going to crouch and not let that spo spoil my day. Uh-huh, so... Yeah, I was just wondering, how is she gonna manage to fit through those trees? She didn't. Okay, so there is an alien probably somewhere around here, I want to get it. I'm gonna fall back so that he doesn't have a shot on Martin Washington. The... The baseball got the... I'm sorry, the baseball bat guy is gonna go and, uh, you know, look silly with that shield. Can't really do anything with it. Irene, yeah, why don't you just take something that is uh, a better cover than what you have? Looks like Lai guy is gonna have to carry more rockets with him from now on, by the way. Seems like a smart idea, I think. And just in case we get some activation from here. So yeah, I'm now pretty sure that uh, the only enemy we face is somewhere around here and that we can ambush him next turn. I think I hear organic aliens as well and mechanic aliens and from the sounds of it they might be fighting with each other. What the hell is going on? I said, what the hell is going on? So, do you guys know from what movie that was? Hmm. Still nothing, which is very weird because I know it was here. Ah, there you are. Well, can't get to you like this, but... I could perhaps make some sniper attempts on your life. Not this turn, definitely. I'm going to keep Washington in here until I know that there are no snipers who can take him. I would very much want to, but I do not see it happening, unfortunately. There might be some aliens here, but there are civilians over there, so I'm not that worried about that. Because at least so far the aliens prefer the civilian targets over military. And Opirian is gonna check those crates, they are going to provide her with cover if there is an alien directly around here, wasn't. Fair enough. Ally guy, you know what to do. I'm turning people, uh, him over here so that he is uh, looking at the aliens and know what is happening. Alright, so now I have people waiting on the different sides of this car. Next turn they are going to go out and uh, take some shots at that Sai Andron. And Barbarian is gonna provide me with covering shields for now. Sounds fair enough. Come on! That wasn't funny. There seems to be some breaking machinery aliens in the background, which I don't know where. Some ballistics fire. 
Okay, Olsen is bleeding. Which one was that? This guy. Got a medkit for yourself? Yes, you do. Well, so stop being a pussy and use it. Oh, there is a civilian and a policeman in this building. Well, it's a good place to hide. Opirian is going to need the... Uh... I'm going to take a shot with Opirian, but only after everybody else does, so that I know if I can shoot safely, or should I perhaps wait? Because there might be something to the left of her, and I would uh, rather not meet it if I can avoid it. Well, that was lovely. Seventy-three, because there is a tree in my way. But we hit it anyway. And now... Uh, Ken Abbott should be killing it. <laughs> Bloody hell. I don't like that outcome. And Washington is suppressed. So it looks like Opirian is gonna be shooting. <laughs> and it's still not enough. Like I cannot help us. I'm going to send him to the other side so that we know what that policeman is fighting against. Maybe do something about it. And the Andron is unstoppable. Hello, casualty! Whoa! Where did that shot come from? Bye, Irene. It's been fun knowing you. Luckily, her replacement just came. Also, that's where it hides. Well, I have a lie guy and the lie guy has a rocket. Vengeance is uh, best served on top of a missile. That's all what I always say. And that worked pretty well for me so far. So now the guy with a baseball bat can go and get himself a plasma rifle. And everybody else can go and get themselves a alien ship to plunder gonna make sure that it is safe. Seems to be. Wait! It is very easy to yell at the soldiers that they are idiots, but in fact, uh, you know, the only person who's an idiot is me right now. You forget that kind of stuff, it's really not a fault of a, of, uh, a soldier hit. So they do what they are told. Still, idiots, do what they are told. <laughs> okay, policeman is uh, scouting the area for me. That's very nice of him. And Opirian is going to... Hell, that map is big. Okay, Remy, go and get the plasma rifle. Alright, get rid of the shield first. It just looks like a viable strategy for him to just go and get himself a plasma rifle instead of the one that he has. Scavenger hunt. There we are. Okay. Um, like I now has uh, the very useless uh, in this situation rockets. 
So let's see if I can... No, 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 there is fire. Do not stand in the fire. I'm gonna wait one turn and see... No, there isn't gonna be anything left from the weapon. My bad. Sorry, I'm changing my mind so much. I'm just remembering how it looks like everything. Okay, so it seems we do have... Uh, uh, passage into the UFO right now. I want to make good use of it. Especially since I have a very beautiful tree cover all the way to the door. Okay, so far so good. Seems like the way has been cut out for me. And yes, the only thing that I have left right now is to get into the UFO and clear it of all the Androns and anything else that is uh, sneaking about and flopping around. I don't think I'm going to be using Ligai anymore, he's just coming along for the ride right now, because uh, I have no biological enemies to fight, and that means that I have no weapons uh, that I can use. Ligai only has stun rockets now. And there seriously seems to be some kind of fighting inside the UFO. That's very interesting. And I completely forgot about uh, Remy. Well, that's okay. I'm not the only one. He, I heard his wife is wondering whether or not she's married for the last 30 years. Alright. I'm pretty sure that this is not a very good idea, but I have to set a bridge and uh, that way I'm going to save the use if we survive. Like I has no rockets, he only has a pistol, so I don't know. Look for a four-leaf clover, mate. Your job is done and you've done it well, but now I have uh, no weapons for you to use against those guys. I have to remember to give the Ligai more Alenium rockets. They t t uh, weren't very useful in the beginning of the game, but now I can't live without them. Okay. So, how do I deal with that? I'm gonna send Brutal first. Opirian right behind. Then Washington, then Abbott. Is Remy coming? Yep. Just gonna take him a while. Maybe he's gonna get there just in time to save the day, just like the last time. And I'm going to use a smoke grenade. I still don't know how much use it is, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And it does not look all the altogether bad. Can I reach that guy with a normal grenade? Uh, if I had one. Okay, so that's something. Well, that was useless. Did he just fall apart? That's not possible. I don't believe it even. Okay, we have 11 TUs if we go here. I want to fall back. I don't believe that this is safe. I know this place is safe now. I can't see if I have cover or not. That was weird. No shots available, however.
OK. This is as good as it gets. I know there is one inside. I hope I can get him with uh, reaction fire. Probably not though. I hope he can't get me. That's the most important thing. That I can't really see. Okay, there you are. Breaking the barrier of the door. Fire! Where are you? What the hell? I can't see that alien anymore. What the? Well, I have lots of snapshots now. Okay, so the alien is visible, but I can't see him. Well, that's lovely. I hope this is gonna be good enough, because I... If that grenade doesn't work now, then I don't know. I should be able to shoot this guy. There is no more aliens in the ship. There is only this one that I see, but uh, it uh, is invisible. Well, I hope I'll get the reaction fire on it when it moves. Actually, you know, Sander, don't stand so close to that grenade. Stand here. I know there is no cover for you now, but... Uh, you know, at least you won't explode. It's something, right? And that's the end of the mission. Okay. So, Irene died. What can I do? Rai guy has been promoted to captain and got a service medal for participation in 10 missions. We got excellent results on everything but uh, <laughs> Xenonaut casualties. Remy has been promoted to sergeant and so has Ken Abbott. And that would be it. Let's return to base and wait for another mission. And the medium UFO has run away. Bastard. I'm going to take uh, the scientists away from the officer interrogation. And push it towards directional thrusters. And uh, maybe we're gonna get faster uh, aircraft because of that. But anyway, still we need a hundred thousand to build a radar, a radar array, medium UFO is back, Condor Foxtrot, go get it. It's flying straight for us, don't run away, we love you. No, no, damn, bloody hell, shoot it down. I'm not gonna tail it because I know I won't, I won't have uh, fuel for that, so I'll just shoot it down so it doesn't complete its mission, whatever it was. And... Uh, we just uh, got a bomber UFO autopsy. Or a structure, structural report at least. Okay, uh, you can pause it and read it. And uh, bombing run mission, that's something I haven't seen, so I'm going to pause it and read it myself later. For now we are scanning. 15th of November. And we have interrogated the officer. He looks a little like Skrillex, doesn't he? Just add him the black hair and there you have it. We have no projects available right now, but we have scientists, so let's assign them for directional thrusters. And we have a very small fighter UFOs escort. Let's uh, chase them down. Medium UFO is flying as well. I'm gonna send one Foxtrot after it, it should be able to take it down. Bye bye! Fighters are down, three alloys are ours. Oh, so Corvettes are too heavy for one of our Foxtrots. Good, I will send two. Let's just wait until we have a plane ready. There, pop, pop, pop. there you go. Foxtrots 1 and 3, go get them. I'm not gonna wait until they're over land, I'm just gonna shoot them down. I think it's more important to kill the UFO than to waste ammo for nothing. 
And there we go again. Still no mission. Directional thrusters has been researched. Actually, this is the furthest I ever got in this game, so I'm gonna have lots of reading myself. Alien electronics, I guess? Or do you think I should go for the uh, better armors? I don't even have a laser weapons yet. I'm gonna have to wait until the end of the month to build them, and it's 20th already, so... Actually, I'm going to have to say quite fuck it. Scatter laser, one, build. Laser precision, one, build. Carbine, have two, rifle, have none, build. Okay, I'm going to split the engineers by tens. It's going to cost me like 1830. Ah, oh, fuck, I, I need another mission to complete those, uh, all those projects. You know what, the laser rifle is gonna wait and now I can afford it. It's on infinite, so it's not gonna eat my money, right? And the small UFO, Condor 2, go get it. Medium UFO, Foxtrot. 3, Condor 1, go get it. Medium UFO, Foxtrot 1, Condor 3, go get it. I have no more fighters. Okay, we shot down the small one. So, I'm going to end this episode on this. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if so, let me know in the comments, like the video, so on and so forth. And you can join the roster. As you can see, we have some rotation, so you have a big chance of showing up on screen. And uh, thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.